All right, what's up? So today we are going to be making a video on Alexander Rakic. Alexander Rakic, should I say? Um, we'll get into his perks. Obviously, that's his model. They made his model pretty good, but he is a big boy. But to be fair, he also is pretty big in real life. So done him justice. He has uh, some good perks there to get you get back to your feet or to your feet is a good one also, especially since you're going to be wanting to destroy him. He is ranked below Yuri Prohaska. 92 punch speed, 93 punch power, 94 accuracy, 88 blocking, 92 head movement, 93 footwork. So his striking, I mean, 93 kick power and kick speed as well. His striking, that's what you're going to be picking him for if you are picking him. Um, his grappling isn't too bad either. Where, with, you know, because I know if you want to be using kind of like a light heavyweight striker, you'd be kind of going between Yuri and um, Rakic. But, in my opinion, it's probably better to go Rakic because, I mean, just look at Rakic's grappling in comparison to Yuri Yuri with the 8 foot bottom control. Uh, Rakic, you can even grapple with. I mean, 90 top control isn't too bad, especially as well with 90 bottom control. So, it's not not the worst. Let me actually compare that. Yeah, he has better bottom control than Alexander Gustafsson. So, he also has pretty good cardio. Oh, Yuri has really nice cardio though. Um, 91 chin, 92 body. So, 4.5 star, uh, 3.5 star grappling. But he has the grappling in the right um, stats, in my opinion. He also has really nice... He has level 4 kickboxing, level 4 boxing combos as well. Level 4 calf. With the new calf kicks coming into play, that's really important. And he has a level 4 normal round... Normal leg kick. As well as a lead roundhouse to the head. So, you know, let's just get into it. He will be fighting Thiago Santos, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, let's go um, show him off against Santos. It's on your right. This should be a good one, considering, obviously, the Marvin Vittori, you know, Darren Till. Darren Till was a little bit passive. Oh, uh, that model though. That's that's one thing I'm really thinking. On the this one as well, they made it really good. My apologies, Santos. Santos obviously in the game since the start now. But oh, I like that little stance as well. He has that like stationary Muay Thai stance, or at least at the start of what he did. I love that combo. This calf kick is going to feel really good because nobody has amazing leg kicks in um, the light heavyweight division. And Santos obviously does have good leg kicks, but he uh, he isn't the best. He feels a little bit slow. And along with that, his grappling isn't amazing. Oh, this is really good though. I'm just realizing he has really nice animations. He has really nice laid roundhouse, rear roundhouse, uh, laid uh, head, laid head roundhouse as well. The body kicks I was talking about there, but as well as that, he has really nice roundhouses to the head, and then he has really nice animations for leg kicks. So, so far he's really impressive on the feet. That calf kick is really just chewing up that rear leg of Santos or laid leg. But yeah, so he has a front kick which is nice. Oh, he also has a spinning heel kick. Just trying to test out his um, moves out here. But yeah, so far, he is pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, for a light heavyweight striker, I definitely know who I'll be going to. I didn't actually enjoy uh, Yuri too much, because I found Yuri a little bit slow. But Rakic seems to really be doing the job here. He feels like a little bit of a better uh, Dominic Reyes, in the sense. And his... Those level 4 boxing combos at the light heavyweight division, that is amazing. You don't get too many amazing boxes as well. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, that is just beautiful. Oh, catches me lovely though. Hit with that combo again. One thing. Oh, gets rock. You get a rock. Ah, no. We got, you got just dropped there. Oh, he keep trying to go for that kickboxing combo. And he 
Santos is having none of it. I'm trying to see if he has that kickboxing combo, or maybe so I'm not sure if it's the Muay Thai combo or if it's kickboxing the fake lead leg kick into rear body kick. Yeah, he has it. Lovely. Let me see if he has the head kick and the head kick. Oh, he does. Damn, Santos. Rakic is honestly going to be a problem if he beats um, Santos. He is, and he gets another buff on top of this. He'll probably be the best uh, light heavyweight in the game to strike with. And for a four star, I mean, you can't complain. You can get some points for using someone like this all day. That's who I'll be using. Yeah, 100%. I also just really like his model too. It really, they don't it justice to be honest. So, and he just he's like a behemoth. I mean, he is a big ass dude. So, it's cool to play him and just be able to strike so fluidly with him. He doesn't have that easy effect where you know he's so kind of like tall and long that his boxing is really uh, suffering. You know, his boxing feels really good. But on the feet, it's so good that he's just not mainly a boxer. He can kickbox too. He has that lead roundhouse being level 4. He has the level 4 calf kick and leg kick. He has the nice body roundhouse animations as well as that. So, And he has the, like I was saying, the boxing combos and the kickboxing combos. So just obviously great animations, but you can actually put them to use. Oh, yeah. that. I love being able to do that now. I mean... But there's just not many light heavyweights in the game that you can piece somebody together so badly like that. I think this may be it, and it is. Beautiful. Let me see, does he have any unique celebrations? Nah, he doesn't, but he kind of does a little bit of a... <laughs> uh, kind of like a... He's cheering to the crowd or whatever after that, but... That was not too bad, as well as that. Max Holloway, you know, maybe you just don't want to hear this, but he has five stars now. I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful towards Volkanovski, you know, obviously making Volk the champion of the division. He was 2-0 on Holloway. He was 2-0 on Holloway. He's only four and a half star, and now he's lesser ranked than actually Max himself. But that was that. If you have enjoyed the video, uh, a like would be appreciated. I might bring out a top five biggest changes in UFC 4. Or the dispatch, should I say, alone. And then uh, I'll be doing more videos. I'll be doing a stream as well. I'm going to be doing a stream using the new fighters. I'll be doing a stream uh, showing off the new changes in the game as well. There's a lot of new changes. If you guys have any, if you haven't already seen the patch notes, you should 100% look them up. There's some really good changes that are going to just, it's on the way to being an absolute great game. So that's it though. If you've enjoyed, like I said, look, it'd be appreciated. And if you haven't researched, really subscribed already, should I say? Um, I'd be much recommended that you do so. But and hopefully, you've enjoyed watching it. Peace.